Hello everyone, it's me Taylor and today I'm coming to you with finally the Hamilton book tag. I have been looking forward to doing this tag ever since I've become obsessed with this musical. I never thought I would like it since I'm not really into rap and hip-hop music, but it turns out I love this music for some reason, but that might have to do with my obsession with US history. Now put that aside, let's go to the Hamilton book tag. So if you don't know about Hamilton, it is a Broadway musical that is just everywhere right now. It's so popular, everyone's talking about it. I heard about Hamilton back in September when I was taking a theater class at school and we talked about Lin-Manuel Miranda, the writer of Hamilton. We were talking about his other play, which was In the Heights, and how he integrated hip-hop music into Broadway musicals. And then right after the, day, the week after, we looked at his newest musical, which was Hamilton, which is a musical about our founding fathers, most notably Alexander Hamilton, who is the man on the $10 bill and the nation's first secretary of treasury. So I know that the concept may sound a little boring, but it actually isn't. It's a very dramatic story that shows the birth of our nation, and it's very interesting. Me just listening to the story, I'm already, I already get overpowered with emotions just listening to it, and I can't wait for it to travel down here to LA so I can finally see it in person. So let's get on with the tag. This tag was created by Maureen Kiwi. I will link her original video down below, so go ahead and check her out. She's amazing. And I am so glad that she introduced Hamilton to the booktube world. So let's get right into this book tag, starting with the first song. The first song is The Room Where It Happens, and the question for this is, what is a book world that you would put yourself into? And I think my answer is clear, and basically I think everyone has answered this question with this book. That book is, of course, Harry Potter. I would definitely put myself in the wizarding world. I don't know anyone who wouldn't want to put themselves in the wizarding world. So yeah, very simple answer. That is the world I would put myself. This is where I would put myself in the room. Now let's go on to question number two. Now let's go on to question number two. Yeah. Now let's move on to question number two. So 
the second question is for the song The Skylar Sisters. This is one of my favorite songs on the album. I absolutely love it. And the question is, what is an underrated female character? The female character that I chose was Lola from Lola and the Boy Next Door. I absolutely love this character. She is fantastic. Not enough people, when they think of Stephanie Perkins, think of Lola. They mostly think of Anna. But I think Lola is such a much better and more diverse and dynamic character than Anna is. And she deserves more love. If you want to know more about Lola, I made a whole video about her. So I will link that video in the description as well. next song is My Shot, another one of my absolute favorite songs. And the question that goes along with this is a character who goes after what they want and doesn't let anything stop them. For this one, I'm going to choose a very, I don't think many people would think about her, but I'm going to choose Emily from Since You've Been Gone. In this book, her best friend is basically gone. Her house is just empty and nothing's there. And she is doing everything she can to finish this list that her friend left behind and she will finish it. She's not even second guessing some of the things on this list because I wouldn't do most of the things on this list, honestly. But she doesn't let anything get in her way and I admire Emily for that. So yes, she's taken her shot. So the next song is Stay Alive, and the question is, a character you wish was still alive. So I'm going to do spoilers for Harry Potter, so if you haven't read all the Harry Potter books, mute the screen until I put this book down. So the character that I wish was still alive is definitely Fred Weasley. I absolutely loved the Weasley twins, and I was so sad, and I cried so much when Fred died. So yes, I wish Fred was still alive. The next song is Burn, and this song is absolutely heartbreaking. I love it so much. Eliza is my favorite character. The question that goes along with this song is the most heartbreaking end to a relationship. If you haven't finished all of Cassandra Clare's books yet, I will advise you to mute the screen until I put this book down. I know it's not a true end to the relationship, but I still was so devastated when Simon lost his memories and didn't remember Izzy. Sissy is my absolute favorite, and I was this was the only time that I have really like, kind of like heaved while reading a book. I'm not a book crier. The only books that have ever made me cry were Harry Potter. This is the only other book besides Harry Potter that has made me cry. And I was actually kind of sobbing because 
stupid Simon had to lose his memories and forget who Izzy was. And now they have to start all over again, and it's just heartbreaking. You'll be back soon, you see. You'll remember you belong to me. You'll be back, time will tell. You'll remember that I served you well. Oceans rise, empires fall. We have seen each other through it all. And when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da -da -da. Now for You'll Be Back, I have to choose the sassiest villain, and how can I not go with anyone but Queen Lavana from the Lunar Chronicles series? Like seriously, she is sassy and all that. <laughs> she was a such she was such a fun villain to read about. I still haven't read Ferris, but I'm excited to read about Ferris because she has become one of my favorite villains in all the books that I've read because of her sass levels. It's just fantastic. She's kind of also like a brat almost as well. For nonstop, I have to give you guys a series that I marathoned. And the se I actually kind of marathoned almost two series in a row, but they go together. I marathoned um, two years ago, in the month of February, I read all of the Vampire Academy series and all of the ones that were published to that time of the Bloodline series. So I read six books in the Vampire Academy series, and I read the first four books in the Bloodline series, all in the month of February, which I think is very impressive considering that's the shortest month of the year, and it wasn't even leap year that year, so I only had, um, I think... 28 days that I read all of those books and that's <laughs> that was the semester that I had no classes so I had a lot of free time and I read a lot of books that semester song satisfied I have to give you guys my favorite book with multiple point of views and I'm actually going to name an entire series and that is the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan I loved that his book was in multiple points of views you didn't just see from Percy's point of view this time you saw from almost every single character of the main seven and even in the last book you saw some point of views from characters who were not in the spotlight in the beginning and it was very interesting seeing different people's perspectives on different situations besides just Percy because we've always been in Percy's head but every time Percy's point of view did come up I was more excited than some of the others. song and it is the last song in the play as well who lives who dies who tells your story this one i'm supposed to tell you a book or a series that i think will go down in history and honestly i'm going to answer almost the same as everybody else who's answered this and i'm gonna say harry potter again because harry potter really it's almost really it is history now it, it will go down in history Yes, it came out just not long ago, but it's already a huge phenomenon that everyone knows who Harry Potter is, even if they haven't read the books or seen the movie, they know who Harry Potter is. It doesn't matter if they've read or seen them. So yes, Harry Potter will go down in history, and it's already in the process of doing that. So that is all the questions for the Hamilton book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing this tag. I had a lot of fun singing along and it was really fun. I love to sing, so this was just great for me, and it mixed up two of my favorite things, singing 
and history so Hamilton was just perfect and then this one mixed in a third thing that's my favorite books so this tag was just my thing. I'll tag two people. I don't know if they've heard the songs or seen the play or not, but even if you haven't, you can still answer some of these questions. So I'm going to tag Selena and Maggie. I will link their channels down below. I hope you girls do the tag, and if any of you are Hamilton fans and you want to do the tag, go ahead. I tag you right now. So I'm going to leave you with that, and if you want to follow me on any of my social media sites, you can go ahead and do so down below in the description. I will leave all my information, and I will also leave those videos that I talked about. So I will see you guys again next week with a new video. Bye!